A question I get asked very often. Samita, why do you obsess with the preservation of the environment, the preservation of humanity? You always talk about peace, nature, sustainable practices. Because when things happen, for instance, tsunami, earthquake, human intervention, you cannot imagine the scale of disaster they can cause. And my conviction was strengthened further when I visited Hiroshima this April. Where is Hiroshima? Hiroshima is a city on the main island of Japan, Honshu. In the 1940s, Hiroshima was a bustling city. But all of that changed when little boy landed on Hiroshima on 6th of August 1945. Or what was little boy? Little boy was the code name for something very sinister, an atomic bomb that landed approximately 600 meters above ground on Hiroshima on 6th of August 1945. It released intense heat, explosion and radiation. The explosion destroyed everything within a two kilometer radius of the hypocenter, causing death, injuries, and fires. The estimated death toll reached 140,000 by the end of 1945. Many survivors suffered from radiation sickness, burns and other injuries. Remnants of clothing recovered from burn victims. Artists' impressions of Hiroshima disaster and the victims. People drank black rain pouring onto them. They did not realize the rain was radioactive.
many suffered long term health issues due to radiation exposure including high fever diarrhea hair loss purple spots physical and emotional trauma this man lost his eyesight 15 years after hiroshima bombing i can speak from a personal experience as a young mother i survived a civil war thankfully i wasn't affected directly but the emotional scars come back to haunt me even today you would ask me samita do you have photographs of the actual victims i do i have shared some in this video others are simply too graphic to be shared on a public platform instead let us share the positive stories stories of victory stories of triumph that emerged from devastation for instance the story of newly widowed tazuko who restarted the family soba restaurant to bring up her fatherless children and then there was this couple who met in a hospital got married and raised a family the mother who lost her baby boy but one year later she gave birth to a baby girl life came back to her in early august 1955 sadako heard an old saying fold 1000 paper cranes and your wishes will come true sadako folded over 1000 cranes from medicine wrappers in less than a month hiroshima has since transformed into a vibrant and modern city it is a constant reminder of the devastating consequences of nuclear warfare The Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, located close to the Hypo Center, has several museums, memorials, and monuments dedicated to the memory of the victims of atomic bombing. The Peace Memorial Park promotes peace.
above everything else, let's unite in saying, no more Hiroshima's. Let's celebrate peace and preserve the planet Earth. Before I go, a word of thanks. This series on Japan would not have been possible without the help and support of our tour guide, Taka. Taka-san went out of his way to help us locate, for instance, places like the Ota Museum. Arigatou gozaimasu, Taka-san. Arigatou gozaimasu, all of you who have been watching this video. Sayonara.